During the 100th anniversary of the founding of Entergy Arkansas, we're especially mindful of the man who started it all, Harvey Couch. Mr. Couch's legacy lives on in many ways, including his summer home, Couchwood, on Lake Catherine, near Hot Springs, where dozens of his descendants hold a family reunion every summer. I'm Elizabeth Couch Dober. Uh, I am Harvey Couch's granddaughter, and my father was Harvey Couch Jr. Behind me is Couchwood, which was built by my grandfather in 1927. It has been added on to a little bit, but nothing has changed much in the last 50 years. He was always big on family reunions uh, that we know go back to 1914. And, and we come out every 4th of July for family reunions. I think Harvey Couch was a uh, very much of an entrepreneur with great vision, with no money. And so he, he knew how to get people interested. I mean, they said when he was starting his telephone company and he was trying to sell lines, well, people didn't even know what a telephone was. So he was selling you $5 worth of, you know, time for $4. People weren't even real sure what they were buying, but you know, but he convinced them it was a good thing. And he was very much interested in Arkansas. He wanted to promote Arkansas a great deal. And I think, unfortunately, the younger generations today have no idea who Harvey Couch was, which is sad. But you talk to anybody who's in their 70s or 80s, and they will say great and wonderful things about Harvey Couch. Right. So, um, but we're trying to teach the next generation here, so at least the family will know. And then in the late 60s, uh, 68 or 9, we moved his private car here from when he was president of the Louisiana and Arkansas Railroad. Harvey Couch had five children, four boys, and one girl who was named Catherine. First, they wanted to name it the Lake, Lake Jesse, after his wife. And apparently, Jesse, who was my grandmother, had nothing to do with that and said, We're going to name it Catherine. And Catherine was young enough that she could not protest. And so it became Lake Catherine. If you start down here, the first dam that was built is called Rimmel Dam. And it was built for a Harmon Rimmel, who was a senator, I believe, from Arkansas. The next one is. Um, Carpenter Dam, and Carpenter Dam was named after Flav Carpenter, who was the old riverboat captain that went up and down the Ouachita River with Harvey, telling him where to, where would be the best place to put the dams. So that was named after him. Lake Hamilton was named after Hamilton Moses, who was his attorney. If Harvey Couch were alive this July, he'd have been surrounded by 62 members of his family at Couchwood. Instead, he's remembered in family stories, historical photos on the walls, and the house itself, a rustic jewel on Lake Catherine. Couchwood stands as a monument to the accomplishments of a man who started with little, but dreamed big. And the dream he had in 1913 eventually became Entergy, powering life today in Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and Arkansas.